This is what an AR-15 sounds like. Finally! Somebody's reporting on this. What the? <laughs> this guy, this can't, this can't be serious, right? This, this is a joke. This is a joke. Play it again. Play it again. I'm not going to make fun of anybody's manhood here, but observe. That is a woman. If I wanted to fire this on full semi-automatic. Did you just, did this dude just say a fully, full semi-automatic rifle? It's a mythical thing. It's not, it's not real. All right, now I won't probably hit the target when I do this, when we look at the target later on, but I'm going to fire about oh, five it. shots. You were an Air Force general, weren't you, sir? I'm just kidding, Air Force. It's a weapon designed to inflict maximum damage. That's it. That's it. We're screwed. We're screwed. Dear America! What's going on, guys? This is your week in review. I'm Graham Allen, and let's get right into it. I don't know if you've heard between shootings and talks of gun control and even the elimination of due process. Or might take the firearms first and then go to court. I, I can't even I can't even defend him here. I voted for Trump, but that was dumb. Simple to say that we as Americans are kind of divided on a couple things. Most importantly, the talk of gun control and the freedoms and rights that we have as Americans and whether or not those should be up for debate. The first problem in this is that we are actually listening to teenagers in this regard. We are the experts. We know exactly what we're talking about. Um, I had a painful bowel movement earlier. I guess that makes me a doctor. I just got done being sued. I guess that means that I'm a lawyer now. You disgust me, honestly. First of all, this dude looks like Voldemort and a gay turtle had a kid. Voldemort, yes, it said Voldemort. We don't deserve to be attacked by adults. We're literally teenagers. Welcome to the real world, buddy. When you put yourself on the internet, you open yourself up to being talked about. But when you remove everything, all the media coverage, all the kids talking about things in which they don't understand, all the narratives of the misunderstandings that we have, two separate arguments. One argument is how to protect our kids, one argument is gun control. And when you remove the lie that the anti-gun activists only want to ban AR-15 scary type rifles. Scary type rifles. We can break it down like this in three, two, one, go. Here's the truth, America. No more games, no more gimmicks. This is what you need to know. Our rights and our freedoms as Americans are not up for debate or discussion ever. The second you entertain any conversation of those rights being up for debate, you start a landslide momentum that you cannot take back and you cannot stop. But Graham, we have 27 amendments to our original constitution, so obviously everything is up for debate. You're an idiot. 27 amendments that are expansions upon and addition to the basic God-given rights and freedoms that we as Americans Hold. The difference in what you're talking about doing is you're talking about imposing laws and actions that take away basic freedoms and responsibilities. But Graham, an 18 year old, shouldn't be allowed to buy a high powered rifle. Why not? You can vote, you can go to war and fight for your country with even more higher powered rifles. So why can't you? If 18 is too young to buy a rifle, how long until 18 is too young to vote? Then it becomes 20 and 30 and 40, or maybe you never are old enough to vote. But Graham, when our founding fathers wrote the Second Amendment, surely they didn't mean semi-automatic rifles. Well, if that's the mentality we're gonna go down, let's talk about it like this. Surely our founding fathers, when they wrote the First Amendment, weren't thinking about computers, mass distributions of information like magazines, blogs, vlogs, anything you can imagine. So maybe your right to free speech should actually be rewritten because surely the Founding Fathers weren't anticipating that. What about the right to a fair and speedy trial? Surely the Founding Fathers didn't realize how expensive the judicial system in our country would be. So maybe your right in that regard is up for question 
too. It's only a matter of time before it is enacted or it is talked about that technically the Constitution and all our rights as Americans was written by slave owners, so we should just redo the whole thing. Is anyone negating that we need to have conversations of protecting our children better? No, no one is. Lock those schools down and protect our children. The worst thing that we as Americans can ever do is surrender any of our freedoms in any regards because I promise you as surely as you're watching this video you will never get those freedoms back history is riddled with examples of a society that did not have the means to protect themselves against a government that was in power that eventually started doing something that the people didn't like to do and when the people said no they couldn't do anything to stop it see at the end of the day the second amendment was really written as a worst case scenario to just assume and hope for the best that the government will forever have our best interests in mind is stupid. These are your freedoms as Americans. Fight for them. I'm Graham Allen. This has been your Week in Review, and I'll see you again next time.